Tanya. A 13-year-old teenage girl studying in class 8 who loves to explore new things. Mummy. Sanya's mother. A 40-year-old lady who lives in the city. She helps Sanya in exploring new things. Kabir. Sanya's elder brother. A 14-year-old boy studying in class 9 who helps Sanya in all her explorations. This is too heavy. Bhaiya, this table is so heavy. Can you please help me push it? I want to remove it from here. Sure, Sanya. Let's try moving this with both hands. It will definitely move then. Hmm, done. This was so not possible alone. Thank you, Bhaiya. Well, pushing it together helped move table even faster. Yes, I remember having read that to move an object you need to either push it or pull it. So does that mean that by pushing or pulling an object, we can actually apply force on it, is it? Yes. Mm, okay, can you tell me where all have you used force since morning? Let me think. Things like opening and shutting a door, kicking a ball, opening and closing a drawer, pulling out a book from the book rack. Friends, can you help me find some more examples? Sanya, can you guess what will happen if you push the table from this side and I push it from the opposite side? Oh, that is so obvious, Bhaiya. Either the table will not move at all or whoever pushes it harder will be able to move it. So what do you think? Can a force be more, less or equal to another force? Yes, Bhaiya, like you are older than me. You will be able to put more force than me. That's exactly what happens in the game of Tug of War 2. When two teams pull a rope in opposite directions with equal force, the rope doesn't move and whichever team pulls with more force wins the game. Bhaiya, I want to know more about force. Oh sure, Sanya. Let's find out. See. This is your childhood toy car. Can you push it gently to move it? Good. Now push it again with some more force and see what happens. Bhaiya, it is moving faster now. Friends, this reminds me of the rubber tire game. The rubber tire had to be pushed continuously to make it move faster. Sanya. Can you tell me what will happen if you put your palm in front of this moving toy car? The car will stop right here. Oh, so you mean if we apply force in the direction of a moving object, it will move faster. On the other hand, if we apply force in an opposite direction, then either it will slow down or completely stop moving. Am I right, Bhaiya? Absolutely right, Sanya. Friends, can you also tell us some examples where force affects the speed of an object? We see such examples in the playground and very frequently. Can you list them? Does force change only the speed of an object? What do you think? Bhaiya, even I want to know about it. Look at the people playing badminton outside. Can you find any difference in the impact of force there? Hmm, the shuttlecock went straight when hit by the first player. But it turned in opposite direction when hit by the second player. 
So friends, does this mean that the direction of motion of an object can also be changed by applying force to it? What do you think? Kabir and Sanya, I need your help. Can you both come here? Bhaiya, look at this chapati. Can you see how force is applied while rolling it? See how its shape has changed. The round dough ball has now become flat. Bhaiya, when I pull this elastic ring, then also its shape changes. Oh, now I understand. Some object change shape when force is applied on them. This also happens when we press a rubber balloon or a ball. Oh, my ball, bhaiya. Please catch it for me. Bhaiya, how is it that no force was applied on this ball? Then also it slowed down and stopped in the end. How is it possible? Does this ball too have some kind of force? Friends, I had read that to apply force on an object, there must be some interaction between the body and that object. Otherwise, a rope, stick or another object can be used to apply force. But here there is no such thing. Sanya, what if it is not the interaction between our body and the object, but instead it is between the ball and the floor? Do you think it is possible? Friends, can you help me with this? Sanya, what do you think can force be applied only by an interaction or contact between two objects? Do you know about the non-contact force? Yes, mummy. I had read that gravitational pull is an example of non-contact force. When we throw a coin, it falls straight on the ground due to the gravitational pull. All objects fall towards the earth because of earth's gravitational pull. Am I right, mummy? Yes, Sanya. Can magnetic force also be an example of non-contact force? What do you think? Mm, let's try it and find out. We'll take these two magnets. If we bring like poles towards each other, these magnets repel each other. And what happens when we bring the unlike poles towards each other? Well, they attract each other. Do you remember we read about it in class 7? I get it. Magnets can exert force on each other without any contact. This is also non-contact force. You are absolutely right, Sanya. Come, I want to show you something else too. Let's take this plastic comb and rub it in our hair. Now bring it near the bits of paper. Oh, bhaiya, this comb is attracting the bits of paper. Sanya, now can you guess what kind of force will cause this attraction? Bhaiya, is it static electric force? Friends, do you remember reading about a straw when rubbed with paper becomes a charged object? I think by rubbing this comb, a charge is created in it, which can apply force even when not in contact with other objects. Am I right? You are absolutely right, Sanya. We learned what a force and how does it work. Properties of force. Force applied in same direction adds up. One force can be more, less or equal to the other force. Force when applied on an object can Change its speed, change its shape, change direction of its motion. Types of force Contact force Non-contact force